Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse, where apparently we are just about to find out who the criminal mastermind behind all of this is. Um, I am really excited to see who this is. I have no idea who it's going to be. Toys. Do we just head in? Or... Toys. Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys. Hmm, I guess we don't go in just like that then. Can we potentially... Do something with the ventriloquism. Stand back, Sam. I'll send those doggle-gangers right into the harbor. I don't think so. Who said that? Hello, folks. <laughs> oh my god. That is creepy. What was that? Unless I miss my guess, the mysterious master is none other than your little dark dimensional puppet. No, it can't be. I knew it was evil. Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. It cannot, sure. Am I, Sam? Am I? Summer, says Orem. Kill it with fire, Max. On it. What the hell? It's the dummy. Right. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, did not see that coming. I had ideas of who it could be. People that had previously gone after the toy box. I was thinking it might even be Jürgen. It's like a weird... Twist, Yank but the cord. Yank no. the cord. It's the dummy, the ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> oh, God. Sam, oh, I just had the most ridiculous dream. Stinky was making out with a giant cockroach. Then an evil ventriloquist dummy knocked us out and. They're doing ballet. Oh, oh no. That's way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> they got a great show for you tonight, ladies and germs. For our first act, our lovely and talented army of doggle gangers will sing and dance their way into your souls with their dimension shattering rendition of that oldie but goodie, mm, Kaskin. And for our second act, well, there won't really be a second act for most of you, since you'll be too busy screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality is subsumed by the glories of the dark dimension. Oh my god, this thing is creepy as hell. But you won't want to miss our spectacular finale when the great and terrible Junior makes his long-awaited return. Lovingly slip me onto one of his tentacles of anguish and plays with me. Not if my as yet unexplained psychic powers have anything to paint. Where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Oh no. They're all in the toy box now. Let's have a big dark dimension round of applause for Sam and Max, without whom tonight's apocalyptic conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. <laughs> and now, on with the show! Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> All right, well, um, so we have no toys. Lady Liberty, America's nightlight. Uh, okay, so we can mess with Judy. Is that gross glob of goo looking at me? That gross glob of goo is an infinitesimal extrusion of none other than Junior. If Charlie succeeds in smashing the dark dimension into your reality, my grandson will shatter your bodies and eat your souls. Or maybe he'll eat your bodies and shatter your souls. <laughs> I always get those mixed up. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. All right, well, we can talk to Paveway and Norrington. Hey, Yogg Soggy! <coughs> Yogg Soggy! What are you doing here? That's not important right now. Just get up here and rescue me so we can stop Charlie Hotep. I mean... Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! <laughs> what a tight ass. Wait, does he even have an ass? <laughs> I don't want to think about it, to be quite honest. So we can talk to Sam. Uh, we can lust after the devil's toy box. If I can just get to the devil's toy box, I can get all my psychic toys back. No, Max. The toy box and his toys must be destroyed once and for all. Yes, what he said. Aw, oh, you guys are no fun anymore. <laughs> Alright. Um, we can gaze at July the top here. I-V-M-D-C-C-X? What is this, Canadian? <laughs> All right, so we've got a crown More of tentacles. tentacles. Jeez, those things must have one hell of a union. <laughs> we've also can... yeah, she's pretty, but I have a standing rule against dating anyone who can use me to dig boogers out of their nose. Oh. <laughs> They're all saying it. 
Oh god, okay, so can we talk Come to on, Sam? Sam, stop screwing around and start kicking some sawdust! Yeah. Your dopey friend can't talk right now, bunny. He's too busy playing straight man to Armageddon. Isn't that right, Binky? Yes, master. Oh good, he's being controlled. Uh, alright. So, there was an option. Hey, soggy. No, so we've done that. There, there was. Okay, there we go. We Who can. Loves you, Junior? We can mess with the piano. What's that? You say you can't move? Of course you can't, you big dummy! You're my slave, my pawn, my. Ooh, what's the word? Puppet! Ah, very ironic. <laughs> Alright, you can mess with Junior. Oh, ain't that sweet. You're still struggling. Can we mess with the piano? Oh, ain't that sweet. You're still struggling. Uh, okay. So we can't do that. We've got the Tevil's toy box. I mean, I don't really see that Sam can open the door to freedom. That's we. You're still struggling. Okay, fine. Um, we can talk to Charlie. Mm -hmm. What's this? My enthralled man puppy has something to say. <laughs> <coughs> what do you say, boys and girls? Do you want to see my amazing talking to a stupid mutt while playing the piano and ushering in the end of the world trick? Yes. <laughs> All righty then. For nails, ha! So, buddy, what's on your mind? So we can talk now. Um, Stinky and Sal? Since the world's about to end, could you tell me what's going on with Sal and Stinky? You enthralled them before we could break out the rubber hoses. The fish woman and the insect man were mere pawns. Their petty criminal dalliance is a pathetic warm-up back to my grand guignol! In other words... Not a clue. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Are you sure you don't know anything about Stinky and Sal's plans for Grandpa Stinky? Hey, I just enthralled them to assemble and maintain my cloning chamber. I didn't get involved in their icky personal life. So it's his cloning chamber. Let's ask about Junior. What in the name of Kubrick's beard groomer <laughs> is that unholy abomination? That's Junior, youngest of the Elder Gods. When the walls tumble, he'll reign supreme over the darkness. And I'll be his favorite toy again, just like it was in the before time. Ha! Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. I can you see why. Creepy! I'll give you a creepy old man! He didn't like that, did he? Ooh, I wonder if we can mess with things. Don't change flaming crowns, take two tablets for the mind plague. We can, we can change the music. Ah, that was fun. And now back to tonight's featured entertainment. Oh, nicely done, Sam. If you want to change the music again, just gesture in the general direction of the piano, and I'll do the rest. Right. So we can get Yogsagoth to, to like mess things up. Mm. More talking. It's a good thing you're the perfect straight man, or I'd be thinking about turning this into a solo act. I kind of want to ask more. <sighs> okay, um, so we can ask about Junior. Let's ask about the Samulacra. Not that I'm not flattered, but why did you go through all the trouble to make an army of half-naked Sam clones? A spell of this magnitude requires the sacrifice of a thousand and one thralls to complete the complex and arcane ah. chance to tear down the walls between this world and the dark dimension. I see. Yeah, but why me? Because you are the ideal straight man. Only you have the perfectly malleable brain that allows me to command you where to go and what to do without fear of being challenged by a stray independent thought. It's almost as though you were born to be ordered around. <laughs> He's got you there, Sam. Oh dear, Max just stab him, you know, kick him while he's down. Uh, doppelgangers. Okay, I understand why you wanted me for your silly ceremony, but why the gold biker shorts? And why did you have to make my clones so fat? <laughs> oh, here my chubby little clones, picked up poor little doggy man, uncomfortable about his body issues. Well... God! 
You want to talk about uncomfortable body issues? Try spending a gazillion years with nasty little mortals sticking their grubby hands into a giant orf. <laughs> oh, God. At least Junior always has the common decency to wash his tentacle first. <laughs> no. So it's about the toy box. Why is the toy box all glowy? Now that my magnificent doggle-gangers have gathered all the toys of power, the toy box is suffused with the terrible energies of the dark dimension. Good for you. When my spell is complete, I'll use the power of the toy box to tear down the walls between your realm and mine, dragging both realities into an eternity of torment and despair. Okay, but how will that be different from any other ventriloquist? <laughs> Ask more. What makes the toy box so powerful anyway? It was hewn from the bark of screaming mendacity on the shores of the river Pix in the dark dimension. Obviously. Oh, I see. Okay, what about Norrington? Why have you dragged poor paperweight slash Norrington slash Yogg Sagoth <laughs> up here? Grumpy old fool thought he could destroy me along with all the other toys of power. <laughs> now he'll bear witness to my ultimate triumph as I sacrifice him to his own grandson! And I thought my family reunions were awkward. <laughs> Let's ask more. I think you and Norrington should have a nice little sit down. Never! I swear, ere this night doth wane, Yog Sagoth will drink the black splinters of my vengeance! An angry little doll, isn't he? Wow, a crazy evil ventriloquist dummy. Way to perpetuate the stereotype, True. Charlie. I'm not crazy, or evil, or illiterate. I didn't say. I'm lonely. Is that what this is all about? Because Max and I can fix you up with a nice girl who runs a <laughs> don't need a woman! I need Junior! Alright. So how long have you been working on this scheme anyway? None of your beeswax, Fido. Oh, come on. Indulge us. Are you really Junior's favorite toy? You betcha! He and I used to have so much fun drinking from the skulls of the suffering while I sang the dirge of madness. You pathetic fool! Junior never played with you. He hated you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh, yeah, that really makes him mad. Okay, can we mess with Junior? Hey, nobody plays with Junior but me! All right, okay. Fine. Can we... I don't know if we can grab that. Mm. You pathetic fool! Junior never played with you. He hated you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Can we like... Okay, so we can do... We haven't done flaming crowns. Will that burn the tentacles or something? Boy, oh boy! I needed that! Oh yeah, it's got rid of them. Okay, so the tentacles aren't there now. Mm. Junior. Charlie knows nothing about Junior. Nothing! Uh, let's not change it for now. I just want to see if there's. I just want to see if there's anything we can do with Max now that. So. Lady, you could really use a facial peel. That's the corruption of the dark dimension seeping into your world. Okay, interesting. Can we? Yeah. No. I, I don't know that, that Max can actually talk to anyone here during this sequence. Oh, hang on. Look at... You can look at the... Um, Troy the Destroyer. It's Troy the Destroyer! Yes, the only weapon that can reliably destroy things from the Dark Dimension. Free me, and we'll use it to stop Charlie Hotep. Okay, fine. Um... So we're going to have to do something with the music. That's the only thing we seem to be able to do. So... Come on, let's see what you got! Fine, let's, um... Mm. Ha! Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one does. So one gets rid of the, um, the, okay, the tentacles are back now, but it changes the tablet to something else. <laughs> ribs. <laughs> Juicy, demonic ribs. You know, that horrific rib cage looks a little like that ladder I hit that guy with last month. 
staircases. Potentially a ladder then? Maybe? So I guess we're going to have to like rotate the songs to figure out like the correct combination so that we can, you know, do something to stop all this. But I'll tell you what guys, we're out of time anyway, so we'll try and figure this out in the next one. I did not see Charlie being the, uh, the ultimate baddie, but there we go. I, I quite like it. It's a good twist as always. Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, and Jonathan Connolly, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>